to the ABC of EDC with me, Rick Flat, your guide through everything, everyday carry. Today we've got a great little comparison between the Anchor SoundCloud and the Marshall Emberton. Two great budget friendly, but at different ends of the budget friendly category, uh, Bluetooth speakers for you. We'll get into that in a minute. A little bit of channel business before that. We have generally been uploading videos between 5 and 6 p.m. on a Monday evening due to time crunch. Content with another channel that I do, which is the Flat Earth Podcast, which will be linked to somewhere up here. We're going to be changing the upload time. So now... Tuesday at noon. So every week, without foul, come noon on Tuesday, there'll be a new full ABC of EDC video up for you. But do also check out our shorts content. We're doing lots of shorts now, generally doing our unboxing of uh, watches, knives, tools, tech, all that on our shorts channel. These two things were unboxed on our shorts channel. I'll put a little a video of it up here. Anyway, I think that's about it. Like I say, you are watching on YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe, press the little bell icon, get involved in the comments, all of that will be good. But enough of me, let me hand over to me doing a review of the two Bluetooth speakers. See you later. So first up, here we have the Anchor SoundCloud. This is the base model, there's a SoundCloud 2 and there's various other Anchor products. I believe these are an Amazon sort of only brand, Amazon derived brand. What does it feel like? It's quite light in your hand. It's not super cheap feeling in any way, but it's not substantial. Got a very rubberized kind of case. Um, it's a fingerprint magnet. I tell you that much, it's hard. I knew like doing this, I'd be like, this thing's gonna look filthy because you just, no matter what, it picks up every bit of oil from your skin or whatever. Uh, branded kind of uh, printed anchor logo on the front kind of grill and on the back, it's got kind of a, engraved embossed I don't know how I don't know how you'd say it, you know but kind of recessed same thing uh, on the side it's got your charging port uh, a, a, an aux in like a 3.5 mil audio jack in and then it's also got a little mic because you can take calls on this if you want to uh, I don't think it's that good I think I did it once and I was like yeah no thanks bruv but anyway great little unit light in the hand simple to turn on just Press and hold, wait for the beeps, it's gonna sink straight up. You have these buttons on the top, very, very simple. Obviously, uh, power up and sinking, and then you've got foot, uh, your up and down volume play, uh, and then you've got a resyncing button there, a little Bluetooth sign. Great, simple unit. Good in the hand, feels substantial, uh, no waterproofing. Like I say, this is the base model. You can pick this up for, I think I paid about 20, I think I paid 20 pounds and 99 pence for this. It's currently about 30 quid on Amazon, I checked a while ago. So somewhere in that range, you might be able to get cheaper elsewhere. But like I say, quite obviously the base unit, but very good. I personally love the look of this very slick, very simple black finish. Just no fuss, no messing, just simple as you like, you know. Stealth, yeah, I'd say stealth. So here we have the Marshall Emberton. How does this feel in hand? Again, it feels good. It's a little bit more substantial in your hand, a little bit heavier than the Anchor, but not overwhelmingly so. Build quality is great. It has a this sort of grill on the back, grill on the front, because it does actually have a front and rear speaker. And I even read somewhere, I think it must have been in the write-up on Amazon, that it, it boasts to have like 360 degree sound. Not quite sure how you do that with only a front and back, but whatever. Got the Marshall branding, if you've been around any gigging musicians or musicians at all, you'll be used to bass amps and different amps, uh, which with this same grill and, and writing, so it'll be familiar to you. Again, rubberized, slightly different quality, lots of text and information on there, blah, blah, blah. We never read that stuff. But again, rubberized, but nice to the feel. Simple turn on, you just press this big brass button. <laughs> now, did you hear that? <laughs> it's kind of cool. You have to press and hold the button for three seconds, so you can't accidentally turn this thing on. But then you get that guitar riff, just, just a little kind of nod to where this is coming from, what this company uh, is all about. And uh, it's great, having not even listened to the sound of this one yet, or the anchor, I'm already, got to be honest with you, biased, more excited about hearing this. But that could just be, could just be a visual thing, because it looks so freaking good. You can get a brass version, or rather a, a version with brass lettering that would mirror the brass button on top, and that's a little bit more expensive. And I don't know why, I don't think it's got any more features. It's just, I guess, more common. Anyway, let's not wait any longer. Let's uh, 
grab the laptop, stick on the Bluetooth, sync up some music and do a few sound tests and just test. Does the bulkier double speaker, 120 to 150 pound Bluetooth speaker have it overwhelmingly against this 20 pound single speaker, well, two drivers, but the front speaker, little Amazon home brand. Let's check it out. So first up, we're gonna be testing the Anchor Sound Core. The microphone I'm speaking into now, the Shure SM7B, that one, will be just outside of shot recording the audio into a, a Zoom H6, um, all set at the same levels, no jiggery pokery. And I'm recording this in my kitchen. I didn't want to go into my uh, studio where everything's soundproof and made to capture and contain and get you a good sound. I wanted this to be recorded in a room where you'd use it, in the kitchen, the hallway, the lounge, uh, out, on, out on the decking, out at the beach, wherever you're going to be, in your bathroom, these shiny, normal, everyday surfaces. I've also got a decibel meter on my phone, which I'll let you know how loud these bad boys get. But let's just run a few songs through each and uh, different, some with a lot of bass, some with a lot of guitar, and uh, we'll just work it out from there. And I'll give you my impressions of each speaker in the room and how they sound. Let's do this. You know, I'm sure in your experiences in school and applying to college and picking your major and deciding what you want to do with life, I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything. I want to fall forward. I want to fall forward. At least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Okay, so we've unboxed, we've had them in our hand, we've talked a little bit about them, we've done some sound checks on them. Where are we at? Firstly, let's deal with this. This little trooper, this little bad boy, 20 quid I paid for it, I think it's like 29 quid now, whatever, I don't know, you can get them from, for deal money somewhere. For the money, this is a great little speaker. It just is, it's got six watts of power. It shouldn't stand anywhere near the two, two times 10 watt speakers in this Marshall but it holds its own. Now, I would say not in quality, not in tone, but in sheer volume. If you're someone who's just listening to podcasts, audiobooks, for instance, and you just want to be in another room or have uh, you, you're doing something, you want to just amplify the volume of your phone, this thing is brilliant, perfect, great little thing, does the job for 20 to 30 quid, just does it. But if you want to play real music, you want to have some bass, you want to have some tone, you want to feel it. Out of these two, you've got to go with a Marshall. And I don't know if it's because of the heritage of Marshall and the kind of people that might buy this. 
but it seems ideally and specially tuned for guitar driven music for riff driven music it's just something about uh, the guitar and bass through this it's just something else so what's the conclusion here if you want out and out best sound volume quality delivery of different tones pitches and dimensions of sound you have to go with the marshall but the marshall is 150 quid but if you just want, like I say, you just want to amplify an audio book or a podcast you're listening to, you're that person, 20 quid, 20 quid gets you this pretty, feels quite indestructible, feels quite solid. There's nothing to break off and chip off it. There's no corners on it. It's just got this lovely rubberized feel. Anchor seems like the one, but there are drawbacks. No waterproof. This is, I think, IPX7 waterproof. It means it can be under a meter of water for up to 30 minutes. Not that you'd want to do that with this bad boy, but seriously, that's something else. But 20 hours battery playback. So is it true? Have I run this one for 24 hours and this for 20 hours? No, I haven't. But they're, they're what the companies are saying. So here's the thing. If you're on a budget, if you just need something, say you're going on holiday, you're like, I just need something to listen to, something to amplify the sound a little bit, but not to, to disturb the whole neighborhood. I can recommend something like the Anchor. Great little thing, great little thing. But if this is a home situation, if you want to keep it, if you want something that's really going to drive some, some power for quite a small form factor, the Marshall Emberton, oh man, he's the one for you. He's the one for you. I hope you've enjoyed this review. It's the first time I've done a review of a Bluetooth device like this. And I understand how lame it is. I watch these videos. I understand how redundant it is to, to, to listen to music through whatever speaker you've got when I'm trying to review the sound of these. But honestly, honestly, these are both great little drivers for music. But if you want real quality, this is like vinyl and MP3. MP3, it's the sound. You're going to get all the tones and stuff, but it's a little bit brittle. It's a little bit, I don't know shrill somehow but it does the job but this is vinyl if you're an audiophile you want something good that sounds good you want the ceremony of your favorite music then this bad boy is the one we'd recommend anyway i've been rick flat this has been the abc of edc and i'll catch you next time do remember please subscribe like select all Leave some comments. What Bluetooth speaker would you recommend? Have you had the Emberton? You had the Emberton 2? You had some other Marshall products? Have you had the Soundcore 2? Some other better Anchor products? Should I do more reviews on this sort of audio stuff? Or was it awful? <laughs> anyway, see you next time, yeah? So I hope that helped you if you're in the market right now for a Bluetooth speaker and trying to make some decisions. If you want to buy either of these units, either the Anchor or the Marshall, there will be a, an affiliate link down in the video description. If you could buy through them, it'd be awesome. It doesn't cost you no more, but it means the channel gets a little bit of cheddar from your purchase. Every little helps at this point in life, right? Got to keep the heat and the lighting on, buy some eggs. Apparently, there's going to be a shortage of eggs now. I don't understand this. Anyway. <laughs> Till next time, I've been Rick Flat and this has been the ABC of EDC. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>